Hello, 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 hello. It's being a little jank. See if that shit normalizes. Chopping some frames. Mystery Sunday, y'all. We got us some Tex Murphy up in this bitch. Although you can't really tell. This is like the most plain menu screen I think I've ever seen. There was some little song and dance with the, you know, let's sit under a killing moon. Yay. Uh, but not like an intro, but just like the menu screen. Oh, shit. I need a new vape. This one's about to die. Hang on. All right, Selena, welcome, welcome. So, uh, yeah, so Overseer, the other Tex Murphy, takes place like three games after this game, like the actual game Overseer. But the story takes place two games before this one, if that makes any fucking sense at all. So that's why we played it first, because chronologically in the story, that happened first. So all that shit started, and then there's the Martian Memorandum game, which well, we could play, but yeah, we ain't playing it. Um, and then they came with this one in about 94, I think, uh, when it dropped. Uh, it's one of the games that really moved CD drives and computers. This and Seventh Guest. Uh, but let's drop the intro and see what's cracking. So... They found it again. Henry. Yes, you recognize that I voice. I thought we'd taken care of it. The uh, forces of evil are persistent, sir. I'm getting too old for this. Who have we got lined up to deal with this problem? Uh, Murphy, sir. Oh, no, not Murphy. Fucking okay, Murphy. So, what about Spade or Marlowe? Uh, Dad, sir. Isn't there anyone else? Sorry, sir, he's next on the list. Well... I suppose we'll have to make do. Knowing Murphy, he's going oh. to need help. Hey, Nibbler, what's going on, dude? I'll check the archives and get back to you, sir. News of the News day. of the world. As the Second World War enters its final days, Allied forces are on the march. The troops of the Western Alliance are occupied with the dangerous duty of ferreting out the remaining pockets of Nazi resistance. The storming of Berlin has crushed the heart of German opposition and sent remnants of the Fuhrer's troops scurrying into the dark reaches of the Black Forest. The Germans have vowed to fight to the last man in their quest for world domination. But their days are numbered, with Adolf Hitler dead and the once dreaded SS disbanded. The Allies have exposed the workings of the Nazi war machine and found it festering with ancient blood cults, whose rituals and ceremonies are too astonishing and barbaric to detail. Allied forces will not rest until the last cult member has been revealed and captured. Remember that last line. <clears throat> no pestilence has ever been so fatal or so hideous. Blood was its avatar and its seal. The redness and horror of blood. You know, if you close your eyes, it almost sounds like Darth Vader said that. Everything sound okay, guys? Can we turn the volume up or anything? Picture look good? You never know with new games. Shit, okay, I thought that was like a white bird, but no, it's just a moon. A killing moon.
Fargo's a kidder. It's pretty funny. Oh, Chris Joe. I think he plays Sex Murphy, too. San Francisco, 2042. Wow. When this game was made, moonlight. this was like way in, in the San future. San Francisco but... sparkles like a chunk of cubic zirconia. I'm gonna live to an see An island of hollow too. beauty surrounded by a red sea of radiation. Five million souls drowning in gamma rays. Some lucky people have a natural immunity to genetic mutation caused by the radiation. I'm one of them. Most of them live in the new city, but I don't. I live among the unlucky souls, the mutants and the destitute, and the wreckage of old San Francisco. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a private detective. Or at least I used to be. Since my marriage hit the rocks, I haven't done much of anything. I went out tonight for the first time in a week, but all I ended up doing was spending the last of my money on a bottle of cheap bourbon. Hey, hey now bourbon! Now it's past midnight, and I'm staring out of the window of my office on the second floor of the Ritz Hotel. Yeah, it's, it's like James Earl Jones, baby. Used to be something. Now it's just another. They called out all the stops. Part of town, and I'm almost out. Oh, of it's bourbon. fucking. Being Jake. My God, Murphy, you look like hell. Really hit bottom, didn't you? I usually don't look this bad. I forgot to take my Geritol this morning. So, you want a drink? I saved my first one to have with you. No, thanks. I've been dry for eight years now. Yeah, one morning I just looked in the mirror and decided I needed to make a few lifestyle changes. Quit smoking, quit drinking. Now, I'm I think he's a famous actor, too. Yeah, I'm not famous, I'm move but. To the tropics and retire in a nice secluded island with a tribe of beautiful young women. You're getting out of the business. I guess that means the end of the world must be around the corner because you are the detective. I can't imagine you doing anything else, especially not running around an island with a bunch of nubile women in a loincloth. No, I can imagine it. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about it for years. Yeah, I've been about years. You know how it is. Yeah. Oh, no. Underappreciated. Dangerous. Uh, I haven't had a decent night's sleep in 30 years. Yeah, I haven't had a decent night's sleep. I'm working on a case right now, and that's going to be my <laughs> Sorry. next one. Right. Enough about me. How about you, Tex? How's life treating you? Bad as it looks? <laughs> well, it depends. What day is it anyway today? Saturday? Well, Saturdays aren't too bad. It's normally Thursday by the time I get really suicidal. So what is it you wanted? Just come by to sprinkle a little salt into the uh, open wounds of my pathetic life? No, 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 Tex, you got me all wrong. <laughs> nah, just because you turned me in and got me suspended and humiliated me in front of my peers, you sold me out. <laughs> but that's all in the past. See, I quit <laughs> hating you that's that okay. ago. Eh, like I said, I'll be leaving soon. And I didn't What's going on, Kendrick? Days. It's Tex Murphy under Killing Moon, homie. Me in my golden years. You probably weren't alive when this shit came out. <laughs> hey, don't worry about me. When you tossed me out of the agency, it was the best thing that ever happened. Digging through dumpsters and sleeping in abandoned speeders. You helped me learn a great lesson. Because no matter how bad well, what's up, things man? are, Missed they you. can how you always doing, get worse. So what happened to you? I heard you were doing pretty well there for a while. Did I help a job on that Martian memorandum case? What's your problem? You one of those people can't live with success? Huh? Yeah? Well, I can live with it. I'm just afraid of commitment. Now, you tell me something. Why wouldn't you talk to me 15 years ago? I was a stupid kid back then. You could have tried to understand why I told the ethics board what I did. I mean, I understand now that I was out of line and I made a mistake, but why'd you cut me off like that? Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a P.I. And never, ever betray your friends. 
Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You got to find out who your friends are. Oh, let then me do you hold on to them. Thing. A precious commodity to people like me and you. Work and laundry. Before I go, I came here with a warning. I heard your name mentioned in connection with a case that I'm working on, and you stay out of it. If you don't, somebody's going to find you floating in the bay with a hole in your head. I don't need any more strain on my conscience. You know, frankly, I'm pretty insulted. Because I'm a pretty damn good detective. And I can take care of myself, thank you. No! No Homer Simpson dope. Let's remember what I said, Tex. Got no idea what kind of people we're dealing with here. Just keep out of my way. Yeah, exactly, WTL. Work tan laundry. All right, so that's the intro. Let's start us a new game. Easy? What is that? J-Dog. So, they found it again, have they? I thought we'd taken care of it. The uh, forces of evil are persistent, sir. I'm getting too old for this. Who have we got lined up to deal with this problem? Uh, Murphy, sir. Oh, no, not Murphy. Afraid so, Can we just sir. watch this? What about Spade or Marlowe? Uh, Dad, sir. Isn't there anyone else? Sorry, sir, he's next on the list. Well, I suppose we'll have to make do. Knowing Murphy, he's going to need help. A lot of help. I'll check the archives and get back to you, sir. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna clip this. Day one, cupping up. So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. It made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he a ever saxophone. was. saxophone! Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. I mean, I'm hard, so... All right, so you can see it's basically just like Overseer. I need to slow down the mouse cursor because when we go to interactive mode here. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything, and I ought to know. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on. This pure mountain spring water is indispensable, literally. I'm out of paper cups. All right, so let's see. Whoa. Are there can buttons here? Which Turn all that, let's turn that down a little bit, yeah. Okay, so tilt control is up and down with the arrow keys, that's it. That's all we get. Hip-hop English keeps me up on all the slang kids are using today. My phone would work perfectly if it hadn't been disconnected. Toxic Taste That's is a phone. novel by Luigi Trundle, the only mutant popular enough to make the New York Times bestseller list. Ah, Sylvia, my ex-wife. 
Whenever I think things can't get any worse, well, I, I think about her, her and how we she totally her. screwed up my life. She's a woman who loves a man, any man, any time. I'll never forget the day I came home early and caught her with the upholstery man. Oh, there you are. I just got done with the chair. I'll be sending the bill to your husband. Oh, Rudy. Let's not think about my husband right now. I was I was watching you upholstery and you're so big <coughs> and strong. Do you really think so? Well, yes. God, I've only known you for ten minutes and I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, yes, look. And look at this muscle. Oh. The way you hold me, Tex, Tex never held me like this. <clears throat> oh, kiss me, Rudy, and set my lips on fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tex, perfect PI and dance instructor. Oh, Tex, honey. I wasn't expecting you home so soon. Well, duh. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> now I know why the Rotor Rooter Man keeps calling and asking whether we need our plumbing checked. Well, I gotta admit, those chairs look pretty good. Uh, thanks. Listen, how about I don't charge you on the labor and we call it even? Fair enough. But from here on out, Rudy, customer servicing doesn't include my wife. See, honey? I saved you some money again. Aren't you happy? I married her for better or worse. Unfortunately, it never got any better. All right. Reset us all the way back over here. Is that where we're sleeping? That's a perfect bed for a destitute PI. Small, lightweight, no sheets required. I call this painting, uh, The Big Spill. The stupid light switch is stuck in the on position. Could be worse, I guess. Another kind of pile ground. of garbage. There just aren't enough hours in the day. Well, since the building inspector has only one eye and no depth perception, the hotel manager painted fire extinguishers in all the apartments. <laughs> Saved no a way. bundle. <laughs> That's fucked up. Whoa! Hopefully we get the hang of this. That hutch holds a life's worth of knickknacks, patty wax, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. The fuck? That hutch holds a life's worth of knick. This piece of art is called Two Whales on a Bender. Grimlink Computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's uh -oh. personal files. Are we going to take notes? That's what that sounds like. This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Ah, nothing here but nostalgia. This cabinet is where my old successes go to die. Yeah, you already said that. Ah, uh, nothing here but nostalgia. So we can't open any of them but that one, huh? Well, that's not gonna work. All right, well. Oh, what's on top there? Is that a fax machine? Oh, great. Another incoming message that won't print out. If I don't get a new fax machine, I'll be out of business. Okay, that does that. I really don't believe, I can't believe that you can't use WAST to move. But we're slowly inching forward. All right. All right, what else we got on here? Ah, uh, the fabulous Dior lamp. I bought it for 77 cents. 77 cents? Ah, uh, the fabulous Dior lamp. I was looking up behind I bought it for 77. Most of these desk drawers haven't been used for so long, I'm afraid to open them. As usual, it's a mess. 
Most of these desk drawers haven't been used. Nothing in here but a pen. As usual, it's a mess. I mean, was there anything Most like of these desk drawers there? haven't. Do we need to like get closer and look at it? No. As usual, it's a mess. Whoa, let's whip that around. All right, we've lost control. Let me slow that down. Hey, that was that wasn't too bad. This here is my favorite desk drawer. Oh yeah. As usual, it's a mess. Is there anything in your favorite desk drawer? Not a damn thing. Most of these desk drawers haven't been used for. As usual, it's a mess. Nothing in here but a. But a stamp. My phonograph's an old family heirloom. I love to play the classics. Cool in the gang. Who's all bending around? Gun. I love it so much. <laughs> Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam. Hey, bam, bam, bam. Bam. It's uh, bam, bam. not very good gun etiquette. Bam. And you. Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't... Don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh, my Looks like a deagle. No matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that, too. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those days. What is this? School of Dance? Great, great Grandpa Murphy made it through the Depression by teaching cha-cha lessons to rich older women. He made thousands before the authorities found out he had no formal training. <laughs> the office was actually a dance studio before I moved in, and Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition. It's a family tradition. Come on, go forward. I think there's some mail on the ground. I think I saw her something in front of the door. There we go. Maybe. Move forward. Look it down a little bit. Hey, there we go. Oh boy, mail. Oh boy, mail. This gift certificate entitles you, the holder, one free cosmetic nose job, nose, boob, etc., courtesy of the Real You Surgical Clinic. 30 minutes to a better you. Okay. What is this one? Uh, grand reopening sale. Tomorrow, 9 a.m., the electronic shop will open its newly remodeled store and offer a 
The veritable bonanza of bargains, dongles, fax machines, remote fax machines. We just said we needed to get a new one. Real controlled toy stereo, vid phones, doohickeys, thingers, whatchamacallits, and much, much more. Fish, stop being a jerk. Be sure to check out the unbelievable prices on our own line of dandy products. Remember to bring your electronics, shop, credit card, and plan to stay late. You won't believe the deals. One of each in stock. These products, of course, are not in sale. Cash accepted, credit card required in an electronic shop. Credit card required to enter. Come on. Cash not accepted. Okay, you're being weird, fish. Just chill out. All right, we got a credit card application, eh? We need to sign that. A pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Hmm. Oh, do we not need the stamp? Nothing in here but a stamp. Nothing in here but a stamp. Well, can we get the stamp? Like, how do we get the stamp? We obviously need the stamp. One last $10 stamp waits patiently to be licked and mailed. $10 stamp. Most of these desk drawers have... As usual, it's a mess. Okay. This here is my favorite desk drawer. As usual, it's a mess. These controls are fucking terrible. So which one had the pen? Nothing in here but a pen. This is probably the only writing utensil that works in the whole office. Hey, there we go. Should we examine the pen? It's just a pen. So it's combined the pen with the credit card application? And then what about the stamp with the credit card application as well? Hey, that's my progress. reliable faux oak desk. This here is my favorite. That's not your favorite desk drawer. All right, so I'm trying to look up, and he won't look up because that's not how you look up. Dude, I'm gonna have get car sick. Is there a way to use keys to move? That's what we're looking up right now. Steam controller. Maybe because I don't have a steam controller. I don't want. Looks like we're shit out of luck. Well, you guys aren't. 
But I am. All right, we want to look at this door. Ah, the closet door. <laughs> Trench coats and sneakers. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like and they stay with it. All I've ever needed was a soft felt. Alright, I think we've looked at everything. That's the door to the street. Let's go. The air outside feels thick, like I'm breathing through a pair of dirty gym socks. It's a high radiation day, most everyone will be staying inside, but I need to hunt for some work. I always like to start the day with a traditional P.I. breakfast. <coughs> that cigarette? Mm, that hits the spot. Oh, let's get down the stairs. I guess that's our car. Alright, so hey, let's go talk to our girlfriend from the one we already played. Chelsea's a hot little girl. I hear she's a mutant, but it doesn't show. The only weird thing about her is she won't go out with me. Chelsea Bando's the kind that could hold her own with anyone, but she has a way of turning my knees to jelly. She's a mutant just like everyone else in this part of town, but she's a real beauty. Well, hello, stranger. Terminally curious. Subtle innuendo or love sick puppy? We're going to subtle innuendo. Hey, sweetheart. Know anyone who could use my services today? <laughs> well, I guess that depends on which services we're talking about, big guy. Play innuendo, play stupid. Sleaze bag offer. Which is play stupid. Well, duh. I guess you forgot. I'm a PI. Well, you know, Tex, you just might have a chance to show how good a PI you are. Had you heard that Rook's place got robbed? No, eager for information. No, I didn't. What do you know about it? Ask about old Rook. Rook acts like a tough guy, but he's a softy. Just don't tell him that to his face. Oh, you know me, Tex. I'm just making ends meet. Ooh, Louis? Who's Louis Lamets? I love Louis, but his friendliness doesn't fool me. He's a sharp one. He knows everything that's going on in this neighborhood. Francesca. Franny's a live wire. Either she or Sal is going to do time for killing the other one. I have never seen a couple fight like they do. Sal's a handful. He's a nice guy, but I don't know. I feel kind of naked Sal. when he gives me the eye. I kind of feel naked when he gives me the eye. Does he only have one eye? Luckily, Ardo seems to like me. I mean, if I were on his bad side, I'd be tempted to relocate. He could crush a Subaru with one hand. Oh, wow. Wish I could help you there, Tex. Yeah, you know, I remember Rook told me about the burglary. You know, I remember a stranger hanging around the past couple of days. It might be a dead end, but... I seem to remember that the guy had these bright green eyes and a tattoo of an anchor on his arm. We should write that down. All right, so green eyes, tattoo of an anchor on his right arm. Notes. 
All right, that's everything. All right, so I guess we're done. All right, let's go find Rooks. Fuck is Rooks. Whoa, she just won't stop looking at us. There's an electronic shop. Fountain launch. What is this? Nothing. We should probably save it. We haven't saved it yet. Save early, save often. Oh! Why can't I type anything? What the hell? Ah, there it is. Early and often. Off tan. All right, let's go on down this way. Oh, girl is staring at us again. Oh, did you guys see a mailbox? There's one. Let's put our shit in the mail before we forget. Surprisingly, the auto post box has no free. <coughs> Maybe people around here are finally starting to respect our government and its fine agencies. I bet. The Postal Service has gotten much faster since the stamp price went to $10. I should get my credit card back tomorrow morning. Wow, that's crazy. Is that something? That old wooden fence blocks off the alley that runs beside Rook's Pawn Shop. Oh, hey. Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. He's a crusty old World War III vet with a face like a raisin and a tongue like a butcher's cleaver. <laughs> what do you want, Murphy? Murphy. Oh, let's go with... Costa Looks like someone didn't get enough fiber in his breakfast this morning. Shut up, Murphy. The last thing I need right now is a yappy mouth wise guy. Sorry, you just look like you could stand to be lightened up a bit. I just got my wallet lightened. Does that count? <laughs> That's what we're here, buddy. Last night, someone broke into my pawn shop. I don't usually have anything of great value, but yesterday, I gave out a fair amount of cash for an extremely valuable diamond bracelet. How much is a fair amount of cash? In this case, eight thousand hmm. dollars. I didn't know you cool. kept that much cash. I don't usually, but I sold a few things earlier, so I had just over eight thousand bucks. The bracelet was pawned by a young girl named Emma Nimpton. She Emma said Nimpton. she hated to hawk a family heirloom, but had no choice. She said she would reclaim the bracelet in a month. Well, since the bracelet was worth ten times eight thousand I loaned her, it was a good deal for me. Good vibes. What was your impression of the girl? She seemed real nice. I don't know what I'm going to tell her. I called her this morning, but a line is disconnected. Hmm. So do you have any leads on recovering the bracelet? No, the police are a waste of time, and I can't afford to hire a decent P.I. <laughs> Offended with looking for work. I guess this means you don't consider me good enough to help track down the bracelet. I'd appreciate your help. I'm not a rich man, but if you find the bracelet, I'll owe you a few favors. 
which could come in handy. Come back here and I'll show you where they broke in. Rook takes me out back and shows me where the burglar broke in. The back window is busted out and the latch is ripped. It's a sloppy job. As I start my investigation, I'm looking for information to enter into my crime link computer back at the office. One thing's for sure, Emma Nimpton won't be one of the suspect's names. Every P.I. worth his salt knows that's not my name spelled backwards. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. That's funny. Okay, right, let's look around here. I wonder what all these garbage cans are doing around here. Maybe Rook is running a low-rent hostel. Well, that's the sturdy, worm-eaten back door to Rook's pawn shop. Well, obviously, the window was broken from the outside. This building that Rook runs his pawn shop out of is at least 120 years old, oh, making wow. him only slightly younger than Rook. Looks like a shoe print is outlined in that sticky pool of something resembling chocolate. Footprints about a size 14. Let's write that down. Pretty big shoe. That's bigger than mine. Like Rook always says, you can cut corners here and there, but there's nothing like a quality garbage can. Oh, I could do something with that. Hmm. Looks like a key of some kind. Let's take a look at it. Shard of glass must have come from that broken window. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Okay. Looks like whoever broke into Rook's window left one of his hairs behind. Apparently our burglar is a carrot top. <coughs> red eyes, or red hair I mean. I think that's, I think that's enough for a suspect. That's pretty good. Looks like whoever broke into Rook's window left one of his hairs behind. Apparently our burglar is a carrot top. Do I click on it or something? It's still saying I haven't really examined it. Come on, move forward. I see some bottles. Let's just go around. Oh, they're probably gonna be nothing. These are empty jumbo-sized cans of Camel's Chunky Chocolate Soup. Mmm, good. Looks like something. Hmm. It's one of those basketballs they used to give away at Weenie World. Ten seconds left. Down by one. Murphy has the ball. He fakes. He drives. It's a 360. He's fouled. What? That baby rum wrapper looks like it was left recently. Yep, still warm. Baby rum, eh? Baby yum? Somebody's gotta live in the dumpster, right? That wow, sound? a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. Guess we should walk up to it so we can look down in it. Oh, what is that? These are empty jumbo-sized cans of camels. 
Okay, that's nothing apparently. What are we looking for here? Wow, a recyclable paper. Wow. A okay, I don't really know why we can do any of that. Think we can open that one too. I wonder what all these garbage cans are doing around here. Maybe Rook is running a low run. I wonder. Or not. Whoa! Here. This antique boombox worked. I bet it only play the Bee Gees. <laughs> Take it. How about that? <laughs> An empty bottle of evanescent spring water for those with a higher class of thirst. Hmm. An empty bottle. We this old relic probably hasn't worked in years. Hey, there are batteries in here. Nice. Oh, so we just wanted the batteries? I wonder if these still work. Mmm, tingly tongue. Still got juice. Oh, you can't do tingly tongue on those. Oh, man! This dumpster smells like 20 year old mayonnaise, and I ought to know. I feel like we should save it. Oh, dumpster diving. Sure. All right, let's come walking up here. Is anybody in here? I don't know. It's moving now. It's weird. We open both well, sides. Well, I'll be darned. Except for the filth and stench, the interior isn't much different than the average studio apartment. In fact, it's nicely furnished. Someone's been living here, and I wonder if he saw anything. Okay, I guess they're not here now. So I guess that means we're coming back. Can we go through the fence? Oh, I would love to see my ex-mother-in-law squeeze through there. Oh, I would love... Now we can just go back and forth through there. She's always staring at me. Whoa. That freaked me the fuck out. I guess we should talk to him. Oh. Looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. What's up, dude? Yeah. What do you want? Is this cool. your uh, permanent address? Actually, I have a summer home in Vale, but this spot keeps me in touch with the common people. Oh, it's because... Speaking of being in touch, you didn't put the squeeze on the pawn shop, did you? Are you implying that I had something to do with that robbery, punk? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Well, I guess that depends on how you define the word implying. Why don't you hit the road before I get really offended? Oh, who oh. again? Looks like Miss. Oh, no. Not you again. Look, I'll warn you right now. I'm almost out of chocolate syrup, and I'm not in a good mood. You know, I just might have something that would improve your ugly mood. No, I don't know. Sure. Is that so? Well, what?
Uh... Well, that's not gonna cut it, punk. Okay, what about the batteries? Well, that's not gonna cut it, punk. Yeah, I think he wants chocolate because he mentioned it a minute ago. Oh, looks like Mr. Bum. This isn't a good time for us. Well, I think the Chocoholics Anonymous could do wonders for you. Better you get lost before I eat that chocolate colored hat of yours! <laughs> wow. All right, what well, we need to do with chocolates? Creepy motherfucker. Whoa. 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 It feels like somebody's watching. Someone really weird. Well, that steep staircase looked really hard to climb. Well, that steep staircase looked really hard. Well, hello, well, hello, well, hello. Well. What do we got here? Besides being fucking lost. Hey, this door's just painted on. Hey. It feels like somebody... Really? We can't do anything up here? I thought that was ingenious. Another billboard advertising cosmetic surgery. Big business these days. Mutants with money will pay anything to look like norms. That's a shame. Should love themselves for who they are. Alright, let's go talk to Rook. Let's get control of the mouse. Well, that's the sturdy, worm eaten back. So, Murphy, have you come up with anything yet? <coughs> uh. Let's be I've got some clues, but I need some more information from you. Tell me about that yourself. depends on whether you're here to help me or to irritate me. She's a honey, ain't she? Makes me wish I was 30 years younger. She knows the black market and has helped me make some <coughs> connections. That depends on whether you're here to help me or to irritate me. Louis and I go way back. Louis. We ran guns to Ethiopia before World War III, then fought in the same regiment during the war. After the war, Louis opened the brew and stew and told me about this shop, which I bought for a song, and then I started my own pawn business. Okay, so him and Louis Franny's a hot-blooded gal. She and her husband Sal wake up the neighborhood sometimes with their rows. Rouse. Sal's a brute. Funny as hell, but he can get pretty bad after a couple of drinks. He and his wife Franny have a real love-hate thing. Makes me glad I never tied the knot. Sal leaves running the pizza joint up to Franny. Strikes me as a village idiot. He came by one time to see if I had any Inspector Burns action figures. I told him I'd never Burns. heard of these Burns characters and thought the kid was going to tear my damn head off. All right, Argo. I don't know anything about that. You don't know about the Colonel, eh? How about the burglary? It makes me mad as hell that someone will break into the shop. I have a hard enough time making ends meet. It was a beauty. Ah, encrusted with diamonds and rubies and inlaid with gold. I don't know anything about that. All right, maybe old girl's got some chocolate? Chelsea's a hot little number. I hear she's... Hi, Tex. How's the investigation going? Is there anything I can do to help? 
sorry. I haven't heard anything about that. Wish I could help you there. No, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. The chug store is not open. What is this place? Louis Laments runs the Brew and Stew, which is a local hangout. Louis Laments runs the Brew and Stew. How do we get in there? Oh, right there. Is something on the ground, too? Well, this is a section of the Bay City Mirror. It's there a we weekly go. newsletter that covers local goings on written by mutants for mutants. I'd subscribe if they had a comics page. Read the newspaper, move the cursor over one of the highlight articles to highlight it, and then click the left mouse button. All right, total of inner city pawn shop broke spent over the past three weeks now stands at nine. Zippy Cash, located corner of Jackson and Maple, was broken into three nights ago. Pawn shop owner Urban Roby did not report the crime until this morning, thinking it was simply a practical joke played by his friends. Tragically, this was not the case. One of the nine burglarized pawn shops, Zippy Cash, was only the second not owned by a mutant. There's been some speculation that the police are not actively investigating the crime since most of the victims are mutants. The mayor, who was up for an election later this year and will need the mutant vote to retain his position, has publicly called the police onto the carpet. Uh, Mac Malden, who is heading the investigation, denies that the police are dragging their feet. What we're dealing with here is some kind of mass criminal. This hasn't left us much of anything to work with. The Tinder Madness, sure, the burglaries have all been committed by the same person. The MOs have been identical. Identical. A girl goes into a pawn shop, hops a piece of jewelry for a large amount of cash, and the shop is broken into that night. Men would not specify, but said the team of detectives had some evidence and hoped to have some solid leads for the next few days. All right, I think we need to go talk to the cops. Murray was found floating in the San Francisco Bay early yesterday morning. Uh, listed as suicide. Disfigured and contorted. Quarantined his ass. Haku to a taco. Soft shell taco mine. What meat art thou concealing? Who cares? It's tasty. Urban Trail Clinic. $50 for any viable organs. Bait shop. Center committed to asylum. Republican New Mexico, who had a call to press conference, assumed he announced his intentions to leave politics to join the PGA. He erupted in hysterics today. Witnesses reported Senator to have shouted, Texas is too fucking big. Run for your lives before it eats us all. All right. Everybody knows Texas is big, but really. We all know how long he was a thumb sucking piece of shit. Okay. Well, the crusade must be stopped. Okay. Grateful Dead tour. Art and soul. Officer Harris, look at that motherfucker. All right. Louis Laments runs the Brew and Stew, which is a local hangout. Come on, baby, out of the way. We are going in. The Brew and Stew is run by Louis Laments, a bloated mutant with a heart bigger than his waistline. Everyone comes to Louie's Cafe. So does all the street talk. If something's going on, Louie knows about it. Mm. What can I do for you, Mike? Suds and hugs. How about a pitcher of beer and the love of a good woman, Louie? I uh, can't help you with the woman, Mike. Yeah, no problem with the beer, though. Put it on your tab. 
Norm. Why not? How many thousand dollars do I owe you anyway? Don't worry about it, Mife. <laughs> I know you're good for it. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Rook's an ornery old cuss. But me and him are old buddies. We fought in the big war together. He's one mm. person you can trust in these troubled times. Chelsea acts tough. But she has to be with all the scum around. Look at his mouth. She's as smart as she his is gums. pretty. She knows a lot of what goes on in the shadows of this city. Yeah, things are a little slow, but I'm getting by. Having to lay off some of my kitchen help hurt my pride more than anything. Oh. Ranny the fireball. We're gonna wrap it up here soon, she guys. She and Sal opened the pizza place seven to eight years ago, and they've been fighting ever since. Sal's a big guy with an appetite for food, wine, and women. He comes by here most every day for lunch. That's good. Fido comes in now and again. Usually orders a couple of steaks and a chocolate milk. His chocolate temp is as short as he is tall. And he's only got one oar in the water. The bad combination. <laughs> you got one oar in the Sorry, water. Sorry, Mife. That's funny. Can't help you there. Rook's been robbed before, but he's never had anything really valuable taken. This is gonna set Rook back for a while. Too bad the cops have turned a blind eye. Rook told me about the bracelet, but I don't know anything more about it. You wanna try a slice of my chocolate pie? I can get you a piece to go if you like. Nice. Ever since the crusade started up, the relations between norms and mutants has gone to pot. I've had rocks thrown through my windows, graffiti sprayed on the bricks outside. There's not much I can do, though. He's one of the few norms besides you who's eaten here. Seems like a typical cop. A little dim, and not too concerned about what happens in the mutant sections of town. All right, well, I guess that's it. No more. All right, let's go give this dude the chocolate pie real quick. And then we'll call it. Why is he so fucking weird? Oh, looks like Mr. Bum. Mr. Bum is home for the evening. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get her fixed soon, I'll go insane! <laughs> Dory me for a lot to do! I don't make a practice of helping out addicts, but I think I've got something that will ease the pain. Oh, hold out on me, man. If you've got something, let's have it. Praise heaven! You brought the ambrosia of life. Ask me anything you want. All right, let's go through it all. Rook, he leaves me alone. Can't ask for more than that. I think Chelsea used to fancy me until she found out my only true love was chocolate. Damn near <laughs> broke her heart. Nice Poor guy, bro. good cook. Every national feed a bum day. He brings me one of his award-winning chocolate pies. Ugh. Hey, Laura. Oh, you should have seen when he popped up on us earlier. It scared the shit out of me. I don't of have much to do with her. They don't serve anything with chocolate in it at the pizza joint. The only time I ever see Sal is when he gets drunk and comes by to pick a fight. But then you pop it in at the very end, though. I'll get ready to fall asleep. Damn, time change. He's got to be thinking like it's bedtime. 
Oh, but it is getting close to ending anyway. We just talked about 9.30 on these Sundays. That big goon. He used to hassle me until I shared a quart of chocolate syrup with him. Now he lets me alone. Wish I could help. But he's a mutant, Laura. I saw someone prowling around the back of the pawn shop last night. It was so dark, I didn't get a good look at him, but I could tell he was huge. Probably 6'3 or 6'4, about 300 pounds. All right, 6'3 or 6'4, 300 pounds. I think we might have a suspect now, for reals. Oh, don't know a thing about it. I stay out of politics, especially bad politics. That's probably a good idea, dude. Sorry, can't help you with that. All right, well, thanks, buddy. Let's go back to the place. Let's go back to the crib. I know I keep saying we're about done, but... Ah, don't go too far, Tex. Where's our place? Hold on. Isn't there a travel? We can just go right to our place. I can show this walk across the street. Uh, that was this thing right here. Prime Link Computers, the Alright, look at this thing. Crime Link, we make it stick. Oh, we don't know what it's races. Green eyes, probably. Red hair. It said two eyes, kind of. They're green. Oh, there's a lot of stuff you gotta know. We don't know the answer to that. We don't know anything about that. He's got an anchor. We don't know anything about that. Wow, there's already a hundred people with all that shit. All right. It was worth a shot. But that was a good time because uh, well, I don't know how quick it uploads again. But drop a like if you haven't already, guys. Drop a sub if you're new. Hope y'all enjoying this shit. Because I am... We out!